Hey, I'm Marty Shupak for Shupak Sports. We have 50,000 video clips coming. Please subscribe. Today we're talking about basketball. You're about to see a number of my favorite team basketball shooting drills. I thought it would be re really good to uh, put up um, Steph Curry just to break down one aspect of a shooting, which I find really fascinating. Keep in mind, too, when you watch him like here, look, when he's first bringing the ball up, notice that the ball is in towards his head, but as he's bringing it up, it goes more towards the outside, facing the basket, and this is his perfect release, what he's known for. His elbow straight, and look at the contrast here, where the arm is, and here, which is fascinating. Now notice on all three, he doesn't have the chicken wing elbow. It's in tight. Uh, Keep in mind, too, when you practice shooting, you have to practice form shooting every day, starting very close. <coughs> we have a tendency, young players, go right to the three-point line. Steph Curry doesn't even do that himself. He starts very close, and he works his way back. Let's go right to the team shooting drills. 34. Box to Box. A shooting drill with a lot of repetitions is the box-to-box -box drill. Players line up at as many baskets as are available. They start on one box with the ball, shoot, rebound, move to the opposite box, and repeat. This drill can be done for time or for the number of shots made. Players should try not to let the ball hit the floor. If they are making the shots, they will be in a good rhythm. This drill helps with shooting form and practicing a high percentage shot. With a lot of repetitions in a short period of time, this is a good conditioning drill. Players can also practice on their own in a driveway or playground. This drill is recommended for all ages. 35. Box to box with two balls. This drill is done with a partner and two balls. The drill starts with each ball on a box. On the go command, one player picks up a ball, shoots, goes to the next box, picks up that ball and shoots. The other player rebounds, putting the balls back on the box. This drill can be done for time or number of baskets made. This drill gives the players a lot of repetitions. It also teaches the players to get used to picking up a loose ball and shooting, in addition to shooting off the dribble or from a pass. This is a great drill to make competitive and is recommended for all ages. If younger players need to move closer to the basket, the coach can put down two pieces of masking tape to mark the shooting spots. 36. Sprint, pass, shoot. As players' skills progress, more drills should simulate game conditions. This multi-skill passing and shooting drill is one of the best. The players start under the basket in one line. They sprint to a line near half court and come back for a pass, show a target, receive the ball, shoot, get the rebound and pass to the next player. The rebounder then becomes the shooter. Coaches can move the shooting spot to different areas on the court and can increase or decrease the number of shooting spots depending on the age or skill of the players. You can adjust the distance for the younger players. This drill is recommended for all ages. 37. Sprint, pass, shoot, two lines. For the next drill progression, we add a second line and run the drill the same way. Because there is a second line, the players will work harder and it becomes a conditioning drill as well. Players 12 and above should be able to do this drill in two lines. Younger players should stick to one line. 38. Shots across the lane. Another great shooting drill is shots across the lane, which is done with three balls. The coach should walk the players through this drill once, then get right into it. Once the players learn their rotations, this drill is not that difficult. Players form two lines across from each other. The first player in one line passes to the player in the other line, who receives the ball on the run, stops and shoots at about the foul line. The passing line gets the rebound. The player who shoots the ball goes toward the corner and the rebounder passes it to him. He in turn passes it to the shooting line. This drill allows players to practice shooting on the move, which is the way most shots in a game are taken. Drills that require more than one basketball are difficult for the younger players. 
This drill is recommended for ages 12 and up depending on skill level. As players improve as individuals and as a team, coaches should add drills that require several skills at once. This drill is set up the same way as shots across the lane, but with a crossover dribble. It's also appropriate for ages 12 and up. 39. Hot spots. This is an excellent shooting drill that focuses on the three highest percentage shooting spots that occur in a game. The players form three lines on three spots on the court. The foul line, the right corner, and the left corner. It's important in this drill that the coach not arbitrarily pick any three spots on the court. The first player in each line shoots, gets his rebound, and passes to the next player in line. Coaches can make this drill a competition between lines and should rotate the lines after a certain amount of time. This drill is recommended for all ages. For younger players, the shooting distance can be moved closer to the basket.